everyone. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about the art of folding paper. I've been fascinated by origami for a couple of years. I am mostly impressed how the simplicity of this method allows us to turn something such trivial like a single sheet of paper into something incredibly complex. It's unbelievable that only by folding paper without using a scissors, glue and other similar tools, a single piece of paper can become transformed into an animal, a movie hero or something more equally interesting. It's fair to say that origami designers deserve a special respect for their work. By combining together mathematical ability with a pure artistic approach, they create more and more breathtaking solutions, which in result allow models to become very often almost indistinguishable from reality. Now let's say something more about the origami itself. The word origami can be split into two different parts. The first one is ori, what from Japanese means folding. The second is kami, changed to gami due to some of the Japanese phonetic rules. Kami means paper. So we have ori meaning folding and kami meaning paper. Although there are many speculations about the historical origin of origami, it is commonly accepted that the most likely it might come from Japan or China. Origami roots reached the 6th century, when then it was used only in religious ceremonies in view of the fact that the paper was very expensive in those days. Origami plays a prominent role, especially in Japanese culture. Folding paper had a particular weight in the period between 794 and 1185. For instance, paper butterflies were used during the wedding celebrations to represent the bride and grow. Origami Noshi, which looked more or less like this, were attached to gifts for luck. Even samurai warriors exchanged the gifts adorned with Noshi. After years, Already in contemporary times, people started studying mathematical properties of folded paper, what helped to develop more complex models.
Some of the origami designers seem to get back to traditional forms which had been invented long before the science took over the helm. Probably the most popular of all models is the origami crane. There is a Japanese legend refers to this model. According to the legend, everyone who manages to fold 1000 paper cranes can make a wish which will be fulfilled by a legendary crane. You can wish whatever you want, eternal good luck, recovery from illness, or a long life. Thanks to this legend, paper cranes have become very popular additions to gifts given to a family or a friend. In Japan, the crane is claimed to be a holy or mystical creature, which is also said to live for a thousand years. That is why 1000 cranes are made in this legend, one for each year. There is a real story linked with both the legend and the paper crane. The story has been popularized mainly because of a certain non-fiction book written by an American author, Eleanor Kara. The book is called Sadako and the Thousand Paper Crane. The story is about a Japanese girl who lived in Hiroshima and was one of the few children that survived a nuclear bomb attack during the Second World War. However, after years, the girl, whose name was Sadako Sasaki, became sick and was diagnosed with leukemia. She decided to start folding thousand origami cranes, hoping that when all the cranes are done, according to the legend, one of her wishes, which was to recover from illness, will come true. Unfortunately, she didn't make all the cranes on time and passed away, getting down only 644 models. But the rest of the models have been made by her friends from school. Sadako Sasaki, since then, has become a symbol of peace, even a memorial of her holding a golden crane was built in remembrance of her and all of the children who had died from the effect of the atomic bomb. The art of folding paper has also many different practical applications. For example, some particular method of folding paper at certain angles, certain specific angles, invented by a Japanese astrophysicist, Koramura, 
has been used to design solar panels for space satellites. Obviously, in reality, instead of paper creases, there have been used the hinges. Undoubtedly, the main advantage of this construction, of such construction, is that it can be very easily unpacked in just one motion which is really beneficial not only because of significant reduction in the size of surface of the surface but also it reduces the number of motors required to unfold the solar panel origami has been used also to design car airbags stand implants or even grocery bags okay now after this long introduction it's finally the time to show you my origami collection. Let's start with a scorpion. It's a model designed by Robert Sabat. I think it looks nice. It's one of those decent models which you can easily fold without being overwhelmed by enormous complexity. It's not necessary to have some special ability to fold it. Everyone can do it. Like majority of my models, this one is characterized by a medium level of difficulty. This is only one model in my collection which was folded from two pieces of paper. The first piece covers the front legs. Abdomen, pincers, and the tail. Back legs are made of the second piece. I am not a big fan of the modular origami simply because such models don't impress me as much as those made of a single sheet of paper. But I decided to make an exception for this one. And I made it because it looks very aesthetic.
The next one is a lion designed by Anibal Voyer. When I started folding it, I didn't know it's gonna be a lion. Because actually, it was supposed to be a sphinx. However, when I was folding it, I realized that it resembles much more a lion rather than a sphinx. So I decided to remodel it a little bit in such a way to get a satisfactory effect. Although the model is classified as a medium advanced level, I have to admit that it made me really confused for a few times, but probably it was because I used the poor quality paper. The next is already well known to you, Origami Yoda. Designed by Fumiaki Kawahata. This is one of my favorite models. It's not too difficult and the final effect really compensates for the time you spend while folding it. This is one of those models which I've recently made. It is supposed to be a parrot designed by Manuel Sigro. It was folded from the same, the same kind of paper which I used to make a lion. And I suppose that the model would have looked much better if I had chosen a brighter paper. It takes between one to two hours to get it done. If I remember correctly, I had a difficulty particularly with one step, one of the steps, which is called open sync, and I always have trouble while making it. It is all about pushing the paper into the, into the empty space inside the model. And then, 
flattening it like this. I haven't found out yet how to deal with this step without any problems. Okay, let's move to the next one. This time we have a frog designed by Roman Diaz. I think it's one of those models which are only slightly inconsistent with reality. Of course, considering that it's still only an origami model made of paper. I really admire designers' creativity. I would have never come up with the idea how to make some of the creases needed to fold this model. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. It's a horse designed by Hideo Komatsu. I'm not satisfied with the final effect. This model was incredibly confusing for me. And that's the reason why it doesn't look like it should. I surely intend to remake it when I find some time. Yes, you need some time because there are 139 steps in a diagram. In my opinion, the model is quite difficult to fold and definitely require possessing more advanced skills. Here we have a bottle designed by Yonakasima. Just the same like the horse, it doesn't look very impressive and aesthetic. But anyways, I like it so much. It was easy to make it, but in view of the fact that there are so many repetitive steps, you can easily make a mistake. For instance, to make a bottleneck, you have to divide the paper to 32 identical tiny rectangulars. Some of them have to be bent at a certain angle, and believe me, it's hard to maintain accurately each angle with such a big number of repetitions.
The next one is the Android, designed by Jarvin Storm. Probably it would have looked better if I had made it of unpolished paper. I like using it as a bookmark. It works great. Just the same like in case of the parrot, it takes between one to two hour, hours to make it. I made this model based on a tutorial which I found here on YouTube. This time we have something what was supposed to be an ant, but unfortunately I completely messed it up. The level of difficulty definitely exceeded my skills, and that's why it's wrinkly and generally out of shape. This model was designed by American physicist Robert Planck, who is definitely one of the greatest and most famous origami designers. I very appreciate his work. All of the Lang's models are truly beautiful, but the vast majority is really difficult to make, and amateurs such as me may have not a small problem with folding. Okay, here is the last one, which is a rabbit. I very like this model. It's surprisingly simple and looks really great. It was designed by John Meakava. The details are very nice.
and clearly visible. The feet. The tail. The ears. Nice and three-dimensional head, which looks fantastic. Okay, that's all. I hope that I've encouraged at least some of you to try your hand at folding origami models. Thanks for watching and see you again.